Have you ever heard of the tale of the Bear Lake Monster? Well, if not, it's just Utah's version of the Loch Ness Monster, but kind of like a thrift shop version. Uh, anyway, people have been looking for this monster for years, but I think they've just been looking for something a little bit too big. So, join me, mateys, as we journey into the Lake of the Bears. Welcome to Bear Lake, located betwixt Utah and the Idaho borders, the very same. This lake is so turquoise, it's often been called the Caribbean of the West. And, <clears throat> sorry, I honestly can't keep this voice up anymore. So, anyway, this is Bear Lake, one of my favorite places to go to, and we're going to be looking for microbes all over the lake. So here's me collecting some samples. I collected some samples right from the shoreline, and some just a little bit out, and some from the middle of the lake as well. But most of the stuff that I found was kind of right where all of these little reeds and stuff was growing. One of the most common things I found in these samples are diatoms. Now these are microscopic algae and they come in all cool shapes and sizes. Here's another cool microorganism I found. This is called Eurocentrum. I think it's really cool because it spins kind of like a lopsided top. Another cool group of microorganisms I found were rotifers here. These guys are really awesome in the way that they feed and move around. And uh, this is the same one, but in a dark field uh, lens, so you get to see it in a little cool different way. And then I found another rotifer, but this next one, it looks a little bit different. And it, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of has little red eye spots. So we know that this one uh, probably has the ability to sense light a little bit better than the other ones. Here are a bunch of random ciliates feeding on a reed and swimming around. Now, if any of these microorganisms were as big as humans, they would definitely be terrifying. Now, because this place is called Bear Lake, I was hoping to find some water bears or tardigrades. Now, these guys are usually found in moss, and so I gathered some moss by these trees and uh, in these sidewalk cracks, but I didn't really find much. All right, mateys, let's sum this up for the captain's log. We ended up finding a lot of really cool things, and even though I've been to Bear Lake nigh a hundred thousand times, I'd never before seen with my own eye things quite as exciting as this. Thanks for joining me on this small adventure and I'll see you in a week.